इस्लामाबाद पाकिस्तान मे 1997 लाइफ इज गोइंग ऑन एज यूजुअल इन द कैपिटल ऑफ द साउथ ईस्टर्न नेशन एवरीथिंग इज सीमिंग प्रिटी नॉर्मल सडनली आउट ऑफ नो वेयर द एंटायर सिटी वाज ट्रेम्बल्ड बाय अ साउंड ऑफ ब्लास्ट जस्ट लाइक दिस इट वाज सो लाउड मेनी पीपल थॉट इट वाज अ बॉम्ब लिटिल डिड दे नो flying just over the head is the most secretive aircraft of the indian air force the legendary miku and kirovich mig 25 foxbat at supersonic speed as soon as pakistani authorities were alarmed they scrambled the best fighter in their arsenal the f16 fighting falcon but when your highest speed is hardly mac 1.9 and that of your adversaries is mac 3 what else can you do rather than just simply watching it fade away in the horizon same thing happened with mig 25 also with a speed of mac 2.8 and a service ceiling between 65000 to 80000 feet it gently came back in indian airspace completing the mission it was assigned to taking photographs of several sensitive defense sites the story of mig 25 began in soviet union by late 50s it was born to intercept and destroy american supersonic bombers like b70 valkyrie it was introduced in 1967 in an air show near moscow to celebrate the 50th anniversary of October Revolution western analysts were puzzled by the performance and the size of this new aircraft there was no information available to them about the foxbat which was the nickname given to it by nato indian air force also had keen interest on this aircraft especially its reconnaissance version the air force used reconnaissance variant of the english electric canberra bomber to take photos of military and strategic assets of the nation which is on the other side of loc but the latest surface to air missile developments made the canberras vulnerable the iaf needed one aircraft to fill this role as soon as possible in 1980s ussr offered india the mig 25 and the air force selected its reconnaissance variant in a top secret way the aircraft were delivered in semi knocked down condition by antonov transportation aircrafts a total of 10 aircrafts were procured which included eight single seat high altitude supersonic reconnaissance aircrafts and two mig 25u twin seater trainer variant a squadron was newly raised for this aircraft the 102 squadron the trisonics nearly 42 years ago on 25th august of 1981 it flew its first sortie as garuda the new name given to it the jet was not mounted with missiles or anything its only defense was its incredible speed and ability to reach an unimaginable height of nearly 80000 feet its payload a huge a70m camera attached in the front part of the aircraft it used a side looking airborne radar also This radar could paint a 3D image as seen on the ground. The cameras was so powerful that entire Pakistan could be mapped in less than 10 flights. And the Pakistani Air Force couldn't do a thing about them other than uh, sitting on the chairs and giving curse words. <laughs> the IAF conducted several sorties in 1999 during Kargil war. and in 2001 to 2002 during operation parakram and every time it returned back safe and sound without a scratch
same thing happened with China. The Chinese authority couldn't do a single thing except scratching their heads while Fox Bat could photograph the entire Tibetan plateau. Now, let's talk about its powerhouse. It used RD-15 afterburning turbojet, which could produce 100.1 kN thrust with afterburner. The engine had huge length of nearly 6.264 meter and a diameter of 966 millimeter. It had a thrust to weight ratio of 3.05, 4.16 with afterburner. It used T6 special kerosene as fuel. On 24th October 1995, the Indian Air Force embarked on a remarkable mission that would become a landmark in aviation and astronomy. A MiG-25 reconnaissance aircraft was tasked with capturing the total solar eclipse from the atmosphere, soaring at an astonishing altitude of 80,000 feet. This mission was unprecedented, pushing the aircraft to its operational limits as it navigated the thin atmosphere with precision and skill. The operation was meticulously planned ensuring the aircraft intercepted the path of the eclipse at the exact moment of totality when the sun was fully obscured by the moon revealing the sun's corona as shown in this picture. This was no ordinary flight but a high stakes maneuver through the upper reaches of earth's atmosphere where control becomes a delicate balance. Guided with precision, the MiG-25 captured a series of high-resolution images of the eclipse, offering a clear and unobstructed view from the above Earth's atmosphere. These photographs revealed the sun's corona in extraordinary detail, providing astronomers with invaluable data that ground-based observations could not achieve. This mission not only demonstrated the Indian Air Force's technological powers but also made a significant contribution to scientific research. The success of this high altitude pursuit of 1995 solar eclipse remains a testament to the synergy between the military precision and scientific inquiry, showcasing the potential of combining advanced aviation technology with the pursuit of knowledge. As we close this chapter on the MiG-25, we salute an aircraft that soared to unmatched heights both literally and in the pages of aviation history. It was a guardian of our skies, a symbol of unmatched speed and power and a testament to the daring spirit of those who flew it. The MiG-25's legacy in the Indian Air Force is one of bravery, innovation and relentless pursuit of excellence. Though its time in service has passed, its legend will forever inspire future generations. That's it for today. Thank you so much for staying this long. Goodbye. Subscribe to Aspire Automobiles.